is one great central story, which is that of God's dealing with us in Christ, the death and resurrection of the Saviour, the breathing of the Holy Spirit. That's the great story. So don't be surprised if you find the echoes and glimmers of that all over the place. Stories are the way we understand the world, but also a way we understand the world we can imagine as well as the world we've got. I can think of several conversations at a deep level with students that I've had and talked about Harry Potter and Gryffindor and Slytherin, and, you know, and like they've immediately come, oh yeah, yeah, I get that totally, you know. And fantasy is about opening us up to something deeper than our reason can fully grasp. Lewis and Tolkien, as great storytellers, as great poets, great makers of myth, were the unacknowledged legislators of the middle of the 20th century. So you work your way back, back through C.S. Lewis, Tolkien, back to George MacDonald, Scottish minister in the mid-19th century, the father of modern fantasy literature. He has a special love for fairy tales, and I think that's partially because they assailed his soul. It's timeless, bells and tours and dragons, and the struggle of good against evil. The stories people tell, the great imaginative projections human beings create about the situation, will, if the Christian story is true, will converge on that sooner or later. We're created with imaginations. It's an absolutely key part of being human, as basic as having language. Tolkien's view was that the God who made us is an utterly creative God with the most astonishing imagination.